Tiny dairies, or fruitières as they are known, are found all over France. They specialize in making cheeses. Here in the Jura Mountains, that cheese is Conte cheese. It all begins with these Montbéliard cows, one of only two breeds that are allowed to produce the milk for Conte cheese because it is rich in butterfat. We visited several of the farms and uh, interacted a bit with the cows. They were a bit um, intimidating. But we grew used to it after watching uh, one of our friendly farmers push them around like they were toys. No. The cows are milked twice a day. The milk is transported to the fruitière, where the long and very exacting process of making cheese begins. The milk is heated in giant copper baths. Rennet and flora are added in order to start the process of turning it into curd. And the skin, the hands of a cheesemaker is gold. It's more sophisticated than every computer. Okay? The skin reading by the feeling. It's fundamental. If Tonio does that, the Vince, the second goal run, it will be different. Now Tonio controls the making. Once he starts to cut the curd, it's finished. He cannot go backward. Look, have a look quickly. The way it's not the same. Oh wow. It's not milk anymore. A partir de maintenant, it's going 4 minutes. A peu près 4 minutes. So from that time, it's fundamental to know, to observe, to establish that stage. And from now, it's counting for the curd to get firmer within four minutes. It's almost always the same. Until now, it's not the same, but from now, it's the same. Four minutes. And then, his main instrument, that blue pouch, is going to check the curd. Please do not hesitate and to ask questions to join you. You notice Tonio works very, very gently with the curd. You have to be careful. Vocabulary is important. You don't break a curd. Never. You cut. It's totally different. Breaking, you make dust, you make you make bullshit job, you make a rubbish job, okay? You make nothing. You cut the curd thinly to separate the curd and the whey and the water. Five Conte. And six behind you. And you can look the movement of the cutting wires. We can use wires or blades. It depends on the cheese maker. So curd continues to get firmer. It's why the speed of the cutting curd will change. Okay, Tonio is going to show you the big piece of curd. Very, really a custard, very delicate custard. Very fragile. 
Yep. Look oh. carefully because it's changing every single second. It does change. By just dipping the hands, you feel the curd. The curd is touching your skin, your hands, you feel the texture. So the only sound you hear into the cheese dairy, it's the steam circulating into the cauldron behind you. Okay? Taking off one cutting curd, put a paddle to bring, if you see the movement of the curd, to bring the curd from the bottom to the top. Make sure that 100% of the curd are going to be cut. Yep. Qui remonte. Voilà. Grain de blé, grain de riz, petit grain. The color of the way is very pale and will become more and more yellow very quickly. Now it's done, eh? you understand that you, you cannot come back, it's finished. Started to cut the curd, the birth of Mr. Conte after we have to accompany. On ne peut plus revenir en arrière, après c'est fini. Ah bah non, Une fois qu'on commence le décaillage, c'est l'ultime moment où on peut encore attendre un peu. Après, c'est trop tard. C'est much firmer than it was before. Okay. 30 minutes, 35 minutes to set. The cutting cut, the cutting cut time takes about 10 minutes, just about, from the time it started. And now it needs another 30 minutes to reach the final temperature, 56.4. That's why we say it's raw milk and we scold the curd, thanks to the steam. Once the curd is thoroughly cut, it's pumped over to a set of tanks where the whey is drained off, leaving a firm curd. The curd is put into molds where it is left to harden for a day or two and then it's sent off to the upanure, the aging cellar, where it becomes the specialty known as Comte cheese.
aging cellars are astounding places where up to 100,000 wheels of cheese are kept. Every Conte must be aged at least four months. The average is eight months, but some are aged up to 36 months and even more. In the aging cellar, machines like this one pull each wheel of cheese regularly. It is washed, rubbed, salted, and then put back on its wooden shelf to age some more. The salt helps the bacteria move through the body of the curd in order to create the cheese, and it also facilitates the hard brown crust that forms on the outside to protect the cheese on the inside. So this, this guy is not only checking the cheeses, but also pulling out cheeses that he prepares for an order. Finally, the wheel of Conte ends up in a cheesemonger's shop where it's expertly cut in half and then into chunks to be sold to customers. And afterward, well, the best part of all, eating the Conte. Here we're using it in a fondue. Yeah. Mm. Ready to go? Yeah.